I'm here today with Jeff Coat, and we are checking in. So Jeff, why don't you tell me, um, you sent me some, uh, some artwork images, and do you want to just talk about them? Sure, sure. Um, so those pieces were created over the past 18 months or so. Um, each one of them is really an abstract approach to something that inspired me. You know, there's very different subjects in those. Um, from enumeration, which comes from a, a background of me being a CFO for about 20 years. Uh, you know, I have a background in tax and finance. Um, to just photographs of friends' dogs I see online. Um, and just objects in nature that inspire me to paint something. Do you want to walk us through uh, these individually? Sure. One of the images I submitted, um, it's uh, part of a, a series that I'm working on that was created by doodles that started in my sketchbook. And I enlarged the doodles. I really liked the shape and the composition of the doodles on the, the sketchbook page. Um, and I took those and enlarged them and uh, produced them on uh, 50 inch by 70 inch paper and started painting them. And the first image, it's, it's one of five that are in a series now, um, but they're becoming a, a family series really. I had no intention of, of creating a, a family uh, situation or a, a subject matter, uh, but the, it really is becoming a family series and they're quite beautiful. Um, the, the fairly simple palette and whatnot um, and, you know, fairly striking as well, I think. Um, so the, those, these are becoming, they're taking on a life of its own, uh, the series is. So that was great fun. Okay, great. And you, um, have you completed five of them? Uh, I have five of them. I, I have two more sketches that I want to complete. So I'll have seven all day once I'm done with them. And they are, again, they're large works. They're 50 by 70 inches. So they take up a great deal of space. Wow. And what, um, what are they on? Uh, Arches oil paper, and it's it's oil painting on Arches oil paper. Okay, great. So the next piece, um, uh, there's a piece called Surrounded by Values, and this piece was created about two years ago. Um, I painted the underpainting a very large canvas. I think it was uh, 50 inches by 70 inches, again, when I started painting it. And the abstraction underneath was quite complex and a lot of energy. And it was basically comprised out of uh, Payne's gray, various reds and various yellows. Um, the piece wasn't sitting well for me. So I rolled it up and put it away once it was dry and just left it sit for a while. Um, my husband and I went on a road trip that summer and came back after, uh, came back in September. And while we were away, um, that was the year that there were a great deal of fires in the great Northwest. Um, when we came back, I wanted to see where the piece would go. So I unrolled it, put it back up on the wall and started color blocking it from the right and the left um, inward and had no intention of where it was going. Um, when I got to the middle, there was a figure that became apparent that was actually part of the underpainting. You know, as you change a negative space, you start creating um, or revealing images that were always in the negative space or in the underlying painting. Um, that piece you'll see on the left-hand side, all I did was take a, a charcoal paint in the, in the brush and outline the left-hand side of the, the figure uh, to make it more apparent. Um, that really brought out the figure and it wasn't sitting well with me because it was color blocked, a lot of heavy layering. Um, I let it sit for one or two days and came back in and because the color blocking was so heavy, uh, it was painted with a palette knife, the paint was still very wet. So all I did was take a piece of chalk and start numbering across the entire piece back and forth. And what that did was create a technical solution to a composition for me. Um, whenever you see a row of numbers or letters, your eye typically follows that line back and forth across a painting or across a page. Um, so it really allowed the piece to become one cohesive piece now. Um, it's, it, it's hanging in our uh, gallery down at the Joby Art Center, and it's one of the most discussed pieces that I've ever had in, in, uh, in the gallery. So it's, okay. it's great fun to see people's reactions to that work. Okay, wonderful. And so tell me a little bit about 
the art center where people can see that piece? Sure, the Joby Art Center is down on uh, 1029 West 35th. It's down in Bridgeport. Um, every third Friday, uh, we host an opening. Um, all of the studios, there's about 50 studios in the art space uh, that are open. So people come and mingle and have a, a date night or just a great, at, great night out with friends for you know some cocktails and uh, some art viewing. So it's great fun, great energy to be down there. It Hopefully is, May 20th will be our next uh, third Friday. Uh, sorry, say that again, when? We're, we're hoping May will be our next third Friday because we've skipped uh, March and April already. Okay, and I've been to many of them and it's a lot of um, a variety of different artists. It, the energy is fantastic and there's free parking. There's tons of parking, which is yeah. great. Yeah. So another piece, um, called Unmasked. It, the piece started out, um, we had just returned from a trip to Mexico. We were in Cozumel on a dive trip. And one of the, during one of the days we took a day off and visited the ruins with a guide. And we saw uh, a great deal of art uh, that, that dated back to uh, the, the pre-Mexican uh, uh, culture. And what struck me most was the, the mark making and the palettes that were used in that art. So I came home and I started painting and just um, let those marks guide a piece that I created. Um, I let that piece sit for a few days. It was, it was fun to do that mark making, uh, but the piece didn't go anywhere. So I let it dry and came back to it um, and just started painting abstractly. And what happened was a profile um, uh, it looks like a partially constructed figure, uh, a facade, a, a profile. Um, and I really like what happened to the piece. There's still a few of the mark makings that were revealed from the underpainting. Um, but, but the piece took on a life of its own and really, um, really stood out for me. Um, this, that, that piece was one of them that was submitted to British Vogue actually for, I think it was for the January issue. They reached out to me and asked if I would be an advertiser for them. Um, I submitted my work and uh, even though I, I was paying for it, I was paying as an advertiser in the, the print magazine, they also have an online version uh, that I submitted work for. And what I didn't know that they decided to do was take that piece of work, the unmasked piece, um, and included it and created it as their cover for that month. So that was that was quite exciting. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. So is that is that piece available? It is. It's actually here in my studio at Greenleaf. Okay. Um, the next piece. Oh, um, the next piece is um, Mind's Eye. The Mind's Eye was a, a complete abstraction, not based on anything. I simply picked up a brush with a limited palette and started painting. And several layers it took for this piece to settle down. Um, but what started coming out again is a, a, a face, uh, a very abstract face um, with a lot of imagery throughout the features of the face within the, within the glasses that you might see and outside of the facade or outside of the face as well. There are some abstract figures and animals moving around that piece. So it's, it really is a, a, a piece with a lot of depth to it. Okay, wonderful. And where would people be able to see that? That's all, everything uh, you, is, everything's you, available online, I assume. Everything's available online. And that piece actually resides right now at the Greenleaf Art Center in my studio. Okay. And what is your website? Uh, JeffCodyArts.com. Your last name is, spent, is spelled... Co is, is it's spelled Cody? It's pronounced. It's pronounced Cody. It's it's bastardized French. So yes, <laughs> I've been calling you Coat. I've been thinking. Oh, that's right. I've that's, been thinking of you as Jeff Coat, referring to you as I discuss you. I'm that, old, that would be that would be a proper pronunciation in Canada and France. Okay. Well, Coat. Yes. So you're Cody. Yeah. Well, my name. It, you know, it's Scottish, but it kind of made its way to the to the U.S. through Canada. And we are McGackern in, in um, Nova Scotia, where we're like Smiths up there. We're, it's very cold. <laughs> um, but we, we pronounce it, we bastardize it when we say McGackern. McGackern. So, well, good. 
Um, the last piece I think that we will chat about is, it's called All Tucked In. And this piece was inspired by a photograph of a friend of mine on Instagram who I've never met. She and I just linked in, she's an artist as well. Um, she posted, she posts regularly photographs of her little dogs. Um, and one piece she posted uh, quite a few months ago um, was a, a photograph of her dog taking a nap on a sofa. And I love the composition of the piece and the palette of the dog laying among old Afghans and blankets that she had laid on the couch. Um, I took the photograph and started painting it. Um, I drew it out abstractly on a, a very large canvas. It's a, uh, uh, I think it's a 70 by 90 canvas. Um, drew it out and started painting it. And because I took an abstract approach to it, it I, you know, I, I didn't like where it was going. Um, so I rotated the canvas and continued to paint it and completely abstracted one half of the piece of it. Um, it really turned out well because it shows a lot of different techniques in the piece um, from palette knife painting to brush work to mark making with um, Sennelier oil sticks and whatnot. And I, I really like the way the piece turned out and happily the, uh, the owner of the dog really, really enjoys the piece as well. Oh, good. Now is that piece available as well? Uh, yes, that piece is actually down at the Joby Art Center. Okay, wonderful. And I think that's all the pieces that I submitted, right? It is. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you for, um, for checking in and letting, uh, recording this so you can share with everyone what you've been up to and sure. And, uh, I think that in, you know, today's situation, um, a lot of people are working from home and kind of working in a solitary situation and for artists, this is how we work all the time. Yeah, so this, this, this is not a big change for us. Correct. So there's an element, of, that's why I wanted to do this project is because there's an element of this where it's a little bit of business as usual for artists, whereas people are probably looking for new content to consume. Yeah. Um, so I thought that we could take this opportunity to share what we're up to and make a connection with uh, you know, non-artists out there. Great, great, great endeavor. All right. Well, thank you, Jeff Cote. All right. Thanks, Rick. All right. Bye.